Lilibet is Eugene's son. Rumours are still floating around that Archie is a child named Gavin, the son of one of Meghan's friends. There was also speculation that Lily was her cousin August in a dress. Princess Eugene is a Sussex supporter. Throughout the first three episodes of Harry and Meghan, the Sussexes shared some never-before-seen photos of Archie and Lilibet at home. In a picture, Harry is seen spending time with his two children, but royal fans think that Lilibet in the pic is Eugene's child. It's beyond weird that Archie's not seen in any footage playing with his sister, other than Archie laying on Meghan's square moon bump. It's important to note that Eugene is the only member of Prince Harry's family to feature in personal photos shared in the Netflix documentary. One snap of Prince Andrew's daughter in the second episode shows the pair out for a bike ride along a palm tree lined stretch of pavement in California. Earlier this winter, Eugene became the first member of the royal family to publicly visit the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in California, two years after they quit their royal duties. Meghan is also said to be close to Eugene, having been introduced to her before she'd even met her royal beau, through their mutual friend Misha Nono. And in the first episode, the couple shared a number of photographs from the big night out. In one snap, Meghan and Harry can be seen crowding in for a photograph of Eugene and Jack, as well as another friend, Marcus Anderson, who's the global membership director for Soho House. Harry and Meghan are facing a strong boycott after the Netflix docuseries release. A government minister has called on Britons to ignore Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in a scathing rebuttal to the couple's Netflix doc during an appearance on BBC Question Time. Guy Opperman, who serves as employment minister, was quizzed on whether Harry and Meghan had inflicted significant damage on the royal family. He defiantly responded, The royal family is bigger than all of us. The minister added that the couple are utterly irrelevant to this country amid a growing backlash against the Sussexes in the UK. Mr Opperman told the BBC audience, They're clearly a very troubled couple, which I think anyone looking at them can say is a sad state of affairs. I agree that they're utterly irrelevant to this country, and the progress of this country and the royal family that I believe we support. He also acknowledged that the Sussexes had faced unacceptable press intrusion. However, the minister continued, I don't think it has a fundamental impact on the royal family. I certainly won't be watching it. I'd urge everyone to boycott Netflix and make sure we focus on things that matter. Mr Opperman was not the only senior conservative to come out against the couple yesterday. MP Bob Seeley accused Harry of trashing his family and monetizing his misery for public consumption. He also ripped into the Duke of Sussex for attacking some important institutions in the country. Mr Seeley revealed he was considering proposing a private member's bill to strip Harry and Meghan of royal titles. It is understood that Harry had no interest in money until he met materialistic Meghan, who started an obsession with comparing themselves with William and Kate. A source said, Harry never worried about money or status within the family until Meghan came along. Kate, William and Harry all got along very well. It all came down to money with Meghan. She couldn't get a head around the family hierarchy. She wanted her and Harry to have the same as William and Kate.